There are so many upcoming cozy games, but I like to find the best looking ones and share them with you. So I am back today to do just that, featuring five cozy fantasy games that are upcoming. So let's get started with this, but don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It would make me really happy, so thank you. So first, we're gonna start with Fantastic Haven, which is set to release in quarter two of 2024. Fantastic Haven has been described as a magical zoo tycoon, and it's a game where you find and rescue fantasy creatures. You can send mages out to explore the surrounding areas, and they will return with injured or endangered animals. You must also manage the citizens of your refuge to take care of the magical creatures so that you can enhance the population and form strong bonds between creatures, humans, resources, and magic. The more you build, the more research you do, and the more buildings you'll unlock, which will enable you to welcome even more creatures onto your land. So there's a ton to do in this game. It looks so cute and fun and just so relaxing. Got that magical management zoo type of thing going on, but it's not really a zoo, but it's really cute. So yeah, the next one is called Ages of Kataria, and this one we'll have to wait a while for because it's set to release in 2025. This is a village story generator game, kind of like a civilization game, where you choose between two ancestries, humans or elves. You learn the stories of your villagers as they age over real world days and weeks. Villagers can and will pass away as they age, but their spirits will enter your spirit tree, which then adds to your town's legacy. Villagers will develop skills and personalities, they'll be able to make friends, and more, and you can even play mini games around town, which will increase the villagers' skills. The town is customizable, and you can place and customize your buildings however you prefer. You can collect cute and rare animals, there's farm animals, and then there's more rare animals. The game also has seasons that match the real world time, so if it's spring, where you are, it's spring in the game. You can also trade items with other members online, so there are some online features, which I'm really interested in. And this game just looks so cool, and definitely will hit the fantasy stuff right on the head. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, the next one is called Dragon's Wandering Tavern. Who doesn't love dragons? This one is listed as coming soon on Steam, and it is an RPG that is inspired by Studio Ghibli. I wish I knew about this one, I would have put it in my Studio Ghibli inspired games video. Check it out here if you want to see it. So in this game, you'll play as Dang, let's see if I can say this right, Dangoru, the Dragon Merchant. In this game, you're going to befriend creatures who can join you on your adventure and who you can send out on quests. Much of the gameplay will include gathering resources, finding recipes for potions and for food. You do all of this as you're on a mission to rebuild and reestablish trade in the Wandering Forest. So I'm excited to learn more about this game definitely intriguing. I want to know what it's like and what like the bigger focus goal is of this game, I guess. Um, like what that's going to look like, but yeah, it looks really, really cute. It has pixel art. I love pixel art. The next game is called Songs of Glimmerick, and this one has a to be announced release date. The game is going to be fully voice acted. This is a cute game in the land of Glimmerick where you will enroll in the University of Magic. This game features music as a key part of the gameplay as music is the key to casting spells. You will attend classes, care for the university garden, embark on RPG-like quests. You can make friends with your classmates, upgrade your skills, and explore the island. So there's a ton to do in this game, and the game just looks like it's full of heart. You're also able to customize your character, which I always really prefer to have that in a game. It looks really good. It has music kind of intertwined into the gameplay, which I always think is really cool. So I cannot wait to play this game. 
the last game I kind of snuck in here. It is fantasy themed, but it's just so cute and I've been dying to talk about it. I'm also on a tea making kick right now. I've been brewing a lot of tea up in this house. This one is called Loose Leaf, a tea witch simulator. This game is to be announced and it looks absolutely fantastic. It's a tea making simulator set in a witchy fantasy environment. You will manage a tea room and I mean you manage every little detail because you need to control the temperature, the timing, the ingredients, and even the serving time of the tea in order to spark joy for your troubled customers because the guests you are serving in this game are haunted monsters. The graphics look absolutely stunning and this game is just destined to be cozy because you can openly experiment with tea making as you try to brew the perfect cup of tea. You'll also get to know your customers' stories, you get to read tarot cards for them, and the more you play the game, the more recipes you'll discover and you'll unlock more details in your tea master's journal. Those are all the games I'm talking about today. Which one is your favorite? Also, don't forget to check out that Studio Ghibli video. And if you don't want to check that one out, there are some other ones on the screen you can watch. Also, thank you so much to the members of this channel. You truly keep me going. And hopefully, hopefully, I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Or in one of my Twitch streams. That would be cool. You can come over and see me. Okay, bye!